Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. Here with me is the new iPad Pro with M1 SoC. This is supposedly the best mobile SoC in the world right now. Since many of you are very curious how well it performs, I went straight to the Apple Store and bought this iPad Pro 11 inch by myself. And so in the coming days, I'll be performing a few gaming tests or bench benchmark tests to see how good this SoC really is. So if you, you like my effort and you want to support me, please subscribe to my channel, share my video to your friends, and give me a thumb up. Your support will keep this video coming. Okay, so today we'll be testing the Genshin Impact game, which is one of the most uh, heavy game on mobile now. And just as usual, let's set every graphic settings to the maximum possible and enable 60 FPS. Okay, before we start the test, I want to emphasize that uh, this is merely a performance test. Okay, uh, we all know that M1 performs very, very well, but I'm not saying that this device is really a suitable device for playing this game. Uh, if you watch my footage later, you'll see that sometimes I just struggle with the handling of this device because it's too big. And uh, the Genshin Impact game doesn't actually allow you to remap, remap the buttons, I suppose. So you see that uh, it's too big for my hand and uh, it's too heavy, it's too large, it's not really comfortable to hold. And uh, the controls are just uh, out of the place, okay? So if you are really, really going to buy this device for gaming, like PUBG or Genshin Impact that requires a lot of uh, uh, control, precise controls, right? I really, really suggest you to go to Apple Store, play the game there actually for 10, 20 minutes, have a feeling by yourself, and then decide whether you want to buy or not. Performance is not the issue, but the size will be an issue. But of course, if you are, you can put the device down and connect a controller to play, then it won't be an issue. But uh, I suppose not everyone will be doing that, right? So if you are going to use the on display buttons really be aware of the size of the device all right enough side let's move on to the actual test so just as usual i'll show you the real-time fps and also the power consumption and those of you who watch every single one of my video you'll notice that this time i'm not playing around the same area because some of you actually tell me uh, it's too boring every time it's the same area okay so i'll actually go to some new areas and uh, i'll more actively participate in battles hopefully that will even further increase the load on the device but we all know that m1 is strong so i guess it should be fine okay enough said i'll stop talking and let you enjoy the gameplay footage Teamwork is 
Schedule. We're way behind schedule. We're way behind schedule. the agenda.
You can get away. Brace yourself. Guys, so the result is in, and just as we expected, the result is almost flawless. It's almost always 60 FPS. It's so stable, and the game is very enjoyable. I mean, performance-wise. We have very, very minor frame drops, but I suppose it's because of map switching or some minor issues. It's nothing to worry about. This is as good as you can get on any mobile device playing this game.
And what's even better is that the power consumption is not that high at all. It's only 7.8 Watt on average. And you need to know that this device has a huge display. So actually a significant portion of that power consumption will actually go to the display. That tells you how efficient this M1 SoC is. Apple really did amazing work here. And lastly, because the power consumption is not that high, and this device has a huge metal back plate, the thermal dissipation is actually very good. After 15 minutes of gameplay, the temperature is only 35 degrees. And I can testify this number from my own feelings. The device does not feel too hot at all. It does feel warm or a little bit hot maybe, but it's not at the level uh, when it's uncomfortable to hold, right? So it doesn't bother me at all. You can feel the heat. It does generate a bit of heat, but it's still comfortable to hold. That's the most important thing. All right, guys. So that's all for my first uh, gaming test on this iPad Pro M1 SoC. Hope you like my content. Thanks for watching. I see you next time.